It is Wednesday. Once again, it's time for the Chamber Chat. We are here at Holiday Inn at Seymour and the Bypass, and I'm pleased to be joined by Donna Backer, President and CEO of the North Bay and District Chamber of Commerce. Donna, first and foremost, certainly uh, concerning as a flood warning is in effect for the Lake Nipissing shoreline and Parks Creek. What message do you have for um, area business owners that could be affected by the high levels of water? Well, one of the things we do hope is that it doesn't happen, that any of those high levels kind of subsides a little bit and that the weather gets a little bit better. Uh, we don't want to see any of our businesses uh, have any trouble right now. So uh, my understanding is that there are sandbag stations uh, in Ferris at uh, Sunset Park and, and, and uh, Champlain Park. So please, if there's anything, get some sandbags up to just to support and to, to protect your business. It's more important than anything. And don't be afraid as well. Make sure we get down there to support our members uh, on Lakeshore drive, uh, support them uh, in, in any way we possibly can. Great messaging indeed. Uh, shifting focus to a little bit more reaction to that federal budget. You have some further comments uh, concerning uh, some aspects of the budget that are uh, good and perhaps some that need to be worked on. Yeah, I mean, there's a few areas in the budget that we're, we were excited to hear about, you know, obviously looking at the housing affordability, uh, AI, uh, reconciliation uh, with our Aboriginal neighbours. I mean, this, those are very important things that uh, needed to be addressed and also looking at that interprovincial trade. Uh, but uh, what's been, been sparking a lot of conversation this week since uh, the announcement was the, uh, the capital gains tax inclusion rate. And there's been a lot of uh, discussion within the business community um, at the just at the timing of it. Government should be making it easier uh, for business investment, if anything, not uh, make it harder. Uh, and so, you know, there's been conversations and discussions around the table about how those things can be worked at. And also maybe, you know, uh, one is uh, looking at the tax, uh, the tax system altogether. I mean, it's a huge complex system and it's, uh, it might be high time that we start looking at that whole um, system and review it. Workforce Week is ongoing and a job fair Thursday at the Grand. Yes, it is. It's from 10 to 3 at the Grand. So if you're looking for a job, there's going to be some employers there. Uh, check it out at the Grand from 10 to 3 tomorrow for the job fair. And we really want to thank uh, Stacy and the Labour Market Group and her team for putting this great week together. Circling a little bit back to our first topic being the rainfall, we certainly hope the rain subsides for the Maple Syrup Festival down in Powassan, and that is this weekend. That's right, our friends down south <laughs> in Powassan, we wish you luck, had a great and a, have a wonderful and successful annual uh, Maple Syrup Festival. Uh, it's a great opportunity to go out and support Powassan, but it's also great support, uh, to support uh, our maple syrup uh, producers. Uh, who doesn't like maple syrup? You can put it on anything. So get down there, support it. It's a, lot of, it's a great family event, uh, and, um, and we do hope that the rain subsides and the sun is shining. On this Wednesday, the sun was shining on the business of the week, that business being the Holiday Inn on Seymour, just by the bypass. Solomon Alexander is here with us today. Holiday Inn Express and Suites is the business of the week for the North Bay District Chamber of Commerce. Solomon, thanks for joining us. Tell us about what's offered here at a very busy uh, crossroads in North Bay, 1117 Bypass and Seymour. Yes, wonderful. Thank you. Um, yeah, we, uh, the Holiday Inn Express, we really flex about our location at this property. We are right situated at the, at the crossover at the uh, Highway 11 and 17, so makes it perfect suitable for the guests traveling from Toronto and also the guests traveling from downtown the north. Um, a perfect location. Um, the, the property boosts itself 116 rooms. Um, we, we, we offer breakfast as a complimentary with parking and, um, and Wi-Fi as well. We've got an indoor pool, 24-hour uh, gymnasium um, for our guests um, uh, to have as well. One of your um, servers is on wheels. Tell us about uh, the Invest Hotels Relay Robotics Machine. Absolutely. Uh, its name is Seymour. So just as the name says that Seymour, um, it's a delivery robot, works perfectly. We are so excited to have it. And more than us, the guests are really excited to see the robot work. Um, it works perfectly fine. It delivers stuff to your room. So we just code it to which room it wants to go. And then it opens a lift by itself, goes to the room, rings the phone, and the guest opens the door and automatically the lids pops up and they get their stuff and the comfort sitting in the room and they don't have to come down. It also helps with our manpower as well so that if there's one person at the desk, it helps 
helps with us to just to seamlessly offer our guests and service our guests um, you know, in, in a much better way that we want to do it. The uh, partnership with the Chamber of Commerce, how valuable is that uh, partnership working with Donna and the Chamber? Absolutely. Donna, Sue and all the members of the Chambers has been a great, great support for us. Chambers um, acts as an interlock between the city and, and all, the, all the activities that comes to town. It is a great way to network with them and to just to have that contact in helping and driving the traffic of tourism and encouraging tourists from other town. They're the first point of contact with any tourist to come into the town and, and, and to get us the business um, into the town as well.